A German proposal for a greater transatlantic market between the US and the EU has been well received in Washington. Along with other issues like global warming, it will be discussed at next Monday's EU-US summit, says US ambassador to the EU, Clayland Boyden Gray. Euronews caught up with him. Ambassador, welcome to Euronews. What are the main topics, according to you, from a U.S. point of view, of the next EU-U.S. summit? I think the main topic will be, unless there's some foreign policy um, incident, uh, the main topic will be the economic integration proposal that Chancellor Merkel has made on behalf of the European Union, in which we have uh, accepted with some eagerness. So I think that will be the big issue. Why do you think this... Uh, uh proposal by Chancellor Merkel is important. Well, we need Doha. We need the WTO. We need the multilateral trade negotiations down the way for the developing countries. That is absolutely essential and in no way affected by this bilateral issue on regulation. Not on trade as it's normally considered in terms of tariffs and subsidies, but on regulation. And there the two uh, continents need to reduce uh, the hurdles to trade and investment because we uh, can improve our growth probably more in Europe than in the United States, but both will benefit enormously, especially as we deal with the Far East and the growth of these emerging economies. Do the U.S. and the European Union, uh, when it comes to their relations, uh, need something uh, binding in order to have uh, and to enhance their trade exchanges? Uh, well, I don't to know. Improve, let's say. But once you do a regulation and you change it to, to make it more harmonized and less burdensome, then it is binding. Uh, can you bind yourself to make those binding changes? That's very, very difficult. Yeah, you but make from a, a legal point of view, I mean. No, no, you can't commit yourself legally to do something that you haven't actually considered yet. So, but if you can make a political, uh, a political commitment, and that I think is what's going to come out of the summit. It will be a top-level political commitment that will be accountable, that will permit you and the media and the stakeholders around the country, around these two countries, two continents, uh, to check on progress and make sure that the uh, uh, that the officials do uh, uh, what uh, is in the best interest of the consumers of both uh, of both countries, of both and continents. The German proposal is is not only has not only an economic and a trade point of um, importance, relevance, but also a major political relevance. Uh, what do you think about it? Well, I think what Chancellor Merkel wants to do, and what President Brosen wants to do, and what the EU wants to do, is to signal their intent to continue to deepen the relationship with the U.S., common values, um, uh, it's 60 percent of uh, world GDP, 40 percent of world trade, it could do better, we should do more, and this is a common front against, against uh, uh, those who don't respect property rights, who don't respect patent rights, who would over-regulate or who would uh, do things in ways that are not consistent with the values that the two uh, continents uh, share and have for centuries. When it comes to global warming, do you think that uh, the European Union uh, has taken uh, in the last summit uh, the right commitments in order to tackle the, this phenomenon? The well, Europe has shown great leadership. Um, uh, I think they've uh, done a better job of explaining themselves than we have in the United States. But one point that I think must be made is we neither can do what we need to do without China and India and the emerging economies. And I think we're converging on agreement that we must bring China and the other emerging economies into, uh, into this uh, uh, issue. We must get them to begin to use the new technologies as we get them developed uh, in the West. So you are saying that uh, um, without China and India, uh, these commitments of the Euro European Union are not viable from an economic point of view? Well, they don't, from a scientific point of view, they won't prove very much. I mean, you could shut down the United Kingdom, just turn off every light, shut down every car, and just the increase in emissions from China in one year will blow away the savings from stopping uh, England uh, dead, uh, dead stop. So we need China. They are going to pass us as the biggest emitter probably this year, and within 10 years we'll be double what we do. Uh, they, they, they will blow past any changes or reductions that uh, the two continents can uh, achieve. And so we must get them uh, aboard. The problem with leaving them out is it doesn't help scientifically, but it also costs us jobs. We will force industries to relocate in China where the costs are, are lower, and then, and then the pollution isn't helping. In fact, we inherit a lot of pollution 
uh, from mainland China, which blows into our state of California. Uh, is this topic going to be raised in some way during this summit? Absolutely. It will be a, a, a major topic. We have proposed uh, a very aggressive uh, uh, program to displace gasoline with biofuels and more efficient uh, cars. It's, it's, it's a 20 percent displacement. It's twice as aggressive as what Europe has proposed. So I, I, I think we, we are doing our part. Uh, what we need to do is to join forces now and to make sure that the emerging economies will do, will do their part. Thank you very much, Ambassador. My pleasure.